guys how you guys doing it's Faven. thank you for coming to my channel i know i look weird this looks weird it's very weird um but i did my vision board yes it does look very crazy it does look really crazy it just it has a lot of holes a lot of empty spots but um there's a reason on why there are empty spots and the reasons are i have I'm starting to believe that our process changes throughout the year. And our process has a different meaning to every single one of us. Well, your process is not the same as my process. My process is not the same as yours. And blah, blah, blah. So with that being said, um, certain things might change on this board. And certain things might be added. Certain things might be taken out. Um, and certain things... Um, uh, could mean differently mean more important or not as important so i'm going to go through what i put on here and i will let you know why i did um so make sure you subscribe and so we can work, get some more videos like these and other some important videos and fun videos so let's get to it uh the first one i want to talk about is this middle one right here I don't know if you can see. I'll read it for you. Of course, you might see it upside down to you guys. But it says, what if it doesn't come true? Ah, but what if it does? And this is from another YouTuber. Her name is Amber Scholl. Um, she's completely opposite than me. I think if I have never seen her videos before or um, never took the time to actually listen or see what she was about, I would have never taken like another second to look at the vid her videos or another second to um, to get to know who she is by YouTube. Um, but I really like it. She's one of my favorite ones on YouTube. And this is one of my favorite quotes that she says. Um, so it it just means so much like you know be like what if it doesn't come true I mean, like what if whatever it is that you are planning on doing in your life like what the, what if it doesn't come true I mean, like but um but what if it does like you have to try you have to put it you have to put yourself out there in the universe in order for it to happen another quote that i like that i found on um on uh google is this one right here you probably won't be able to read it it says accept failure as part of the process and that is so important that's why i have this all in the top because this is number one for me now this means the most but this is number one um failure was something that i struggled with a failure is something that i thought that it defined me as a human being as a person as a wife as a sister as a best friend as a friend co-worker a person period and i've come to realization after god knows how long that failure is a part of success you, you have to fail in order to be successful and when once you accept that failure is a part of it it opens up this door in your head you're like wow i did not know that was there like i did not know creativity was behind that door because you were so scared to fail all the time you always shut that door and you don't let nothing in nothing out and it's just like you that door is shut period there's nothing to go in or out but once you figure out that failure is a part of it when you fail you get experience when you get experience you get better you know we we're all not born geniuses um, we we don't we're not born knowing everything in this world. So, as a process, as you you're going through whatever it is you're going through, it could be business, it could be work, it could be you know trying to be a better wife, a housewife, a husband, a boyfriend, whatever it is that you are going through. That process, there are going to be rocky roads. There are going to be stumbles. There are going to be sharp turns. There's going to be you know downfalls there's going to be rises there's going to be praises there's going to be encouragement there's going to be tears there's going to be fight and all of that is a part of the process and failure must be accepted as part of the process um so yeah that is very important to me uh 
card three and the third one is this one right here with the heart um and that is a picture of family and i want to go and visit my family more i have not visited my family as much as i wanted to last year um there was too much going on last year so this year i really want to visit my family more i really want to spend more time with my family tomorrow is not promised you know i want to spend as much time as i can with my mom my father my siblings you know be there for them um let them be there for me and just enjoy the experience that we can have as much as we can with each other um the next one on the bottom for the rest are just i'm going to explain i think but those these three are very extremely extremely important to me um those if i didn't have anything on here i would have left just these three Another one I want to talk about is the bottom part right here, the little fire thing, is Vegas. I want to go to Vegas. One of my coworkers and friend is getting married this year, and she's having her wedding in Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. I really want to go, and um, so yeah, I have Vegas right there. It's actually in April. She's getting married. Not too far from now. Um, this one right here says new business. Now I have an idea of a different business. Well, it's a part of my personal business, which is right here. It's called Essence of East Africa. I made, I make skincare products, um, all organic skincare products. So, but I do want to add another business, and um, the other business is right here. This is as cosmetics. So I'll make more lipsticks and lip glosses and, and all that kind of stuff. That's that. Um, I left this as generic as possible because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it yet. So I left it as generic. I don't know what I want to focus in cosmetics. Because when we say cosmetics, it's a big, 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 big genre of um this plant of there's so much cosmetic. Like right now I can on my table there's i can see right now there if i can count there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen about about 30 different things that's considered to be cosmetics so I don't know what I want to focus in cosmetics, but I do want to focus something in cosmetics. So that's why this is left as blank. Once I figure out exactly what I want to put my focus on, I think I if it's on this picture, I will color it in something really bright. Or I'll make another um, cutout and I'll put it close by. That's the reason why. Um, this one down here says get organized. I am not an organized person i have never been an organized i used to be a long time ago maybe like 20 years ago i used to be pretty organized um i used to have everything color coded um uh, things were set by sizes and all the kind of, i used to be organized but i don't know what happened i'm no longer organized so that's what they want us to do um this one right here it says start journaling I actually do have a journal I bought from TJ Mar no I bought from Marshalls and this is a journal it's one is by baby powder pink which I'm absolutely in love and it has Bible quotes on every single page on the um, right side top corner of each page there's a Bible quote on it so that is so beautiful and I do want to start journaling um, I think my anxieties and um, the fear of failure, um, my accomplishments and everything. I really want to put it in here. I think I'm going to get like, there was a lot at Marshall's and it was $4.99. Yep. It was $4.99 at Marshall's. And the thing said, the journal says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I really want, I want to get two more so that I can have enough for the rest of the year. Two, maybe two or three more, so I can have enough for the rest of the year. So I'm gonna start start journaling. Um, the one down here is exercise. Um, I have noticed that I am very weak. 
extremely, extremely, extremely weak. Um, and it, it was proven to me how weak I was when I had to change my, um, the drain in my sink in the, in the kitchen. We had changed both the other day and I was squatting and now my muscles are so sore. My legs are vibrating on my, I was beyond tired today. I was so tired and that's when I knew I, I am very, very weak. So I really will need to get my strength up and get healthier because I'm getting older. I should not be that weak. Um, this one right here is a picture of Mombasa. The travel guide picture to Mombasa. My father lives in Kenya, Mombasa, and I really want to go and visit. I saw pictures. Oh my God, it is beautiful. Um, I didn't know it was that beautiful. It is beautiful. Like, I mean, beautiful. So I really want to go and visit. Um, and plus, he's building. A, he is helping to build a resort. So I really want to go and visit. Um, I put an, a new car um, and then I put a repair my car. So I'm not sure if we're buying a new car this year for me or if we're just going to repair my car. But I did put both there just in case. Um, if I do want to buy a car, this is the kind of car I want to buy. Um, this is a Kia um, Forte. That's not a Kia Forte. It's a Kia, like a sedan. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but once I figure out, once I remember what kind of, I'm going to write down the name and the model of that car so I can focus myself on getting, I want to buy a car, that specific car. Um, so I printed that out. And if I am going to get it fixed, I'm just get it fixed. We put, I put another house on here. I'm not sure if we're moving this year or we'll move next year, but um, either way, we, I want to start saving money in order to buy a house. Um, yeah so yeah that's why it's there and what else is on here i think yeah that is. but there are different like in all these spaces oh i need to put some more table here all these spaces um there are the reason why i left all the spaces is so that i have an opportunity to add as i go um because when i was making this i thought i had printed a lot but eventually, as you can see, it's not that much things in here, on here, but these are things that really mean the most to me. And when I first did, when I first did uh, do the printouts, I think I did one, two, three, four. I only printed four, five. I only had printed five. But these are the things I really want to do this year. These are the things I really want to focus on this year. Um, the only thing I didn't put on here is school. Um, I'm, I I forgot to, to print that up. I forgot to print that up, but I need to add my school in here. And I will add, as I go throughout the year, it's going, is this a work in progress? I don't think you should fill, in my opinion, I don't think you should fill this up all the first beginning of the year because your process changes until you have to be realistic. Um, and I can't be like, oh, I'm going to be a movie star this year. I mean, you never know what could happen. Um, but that is one of the things I want to put on here is I want to be either through YouTube or through something. I, I want to be a little bit more involved in social media. So I do want to put the social media out there. But just right now, I, the first thing I wanted to put on here were things that meant the most and the most important ones. Like I said, these three, next these three, with the traveling to M Mombasa, are my favorite ones. Um, of course, the other I like every single one of them, but those are my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. So, yeah. But this is my vision board. This is my first vision board ever. Um, I am happy with it. I the board I got this from Walmart. I paid 288 or three dollars. Um, it's from Elmer's company. I didn't even know they made uh, boards. This is from Elmer's company. Um, these uh, cutouts, these blue cutouts, they are actually parchment paper. Um, I got this from uh, I got those from um, Packet Hands a long time ago. They had uh, 10 for 10 
not like 10 individual, but 10 packs. It holds like 30 to 40 paper of different colors. And they were 10 for 10, so I got 10 of doing it at that time. And then this green one is actually um, a, um, um, like a poster board I bought from Dollar Tree as a lime green one. But I, and the reason why I did that is I wanted to stick out to me. And um, the other ones are, are the same. They will be in different colors so that they can stick out. And I will be putting a border on here um, to make it look better. Now, to where I want to put this, there are two different locations I want to put this. I want to put it when I um, when I sit on my desk, when I look straight, I can see my door. And there's a space right in between. You know, right next to my door, there's a, a wall where the um, light switches. I don't know if this will fit on there looking at it now it might and it might not fit if it fits i think i'm going to put it there if not i'm going to put it right here right next to my desk i want it to be somewhere where i can actually vi visibly look at it every single day um, and make sure that i can you know be able to be feel confident and know that okay i did not overfill this um i didn't put things that I know that I don't feel comfortable on doing and things that I know are not going to be realistic for it to happen. So, yeah, that is what I did. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And let me know if you've done a vision board yourself. And if you did a vision board, what is your main focus for the year and uh, what inspires you to do it? And, um, yeah, talk to you later. Make sure you like, subscribe, share.